Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to get your AMD GPUs, not just your 6000 series GPUs, like the RX 6700, 6800, or 6600 XT, but even the 5000 series, how to make them more efficient while mining Caspa. Now, a number of our fellow content creators have covered this topic, but I'm gonna do the same thing because I wanna make sure the community is aware of this because you can save quite a bit amount of juice or power draw just by this simple command now you can't use this command with lol minor or bz minor but you can use it with team red minor which is one of my more favorite amd mining programs out there first off looking at my hive os you can see my amd rig is a mix of 6000 series 5000 series and even has a 590. i already have the particular uh script or um command ran on this system but i just want to show you the before and after and as i mentioned Red Panda Mining has covered it. A number of content creators have covered it. But I really want to give credit to Kiwi Crypto Miner. Uh, so make sure you check them out. I have a link down in the description. Make sure you subscribe. Because this is what the community is all about. We share data with one another. Uh, one miner might find something uh, to where they can get extra hash, performance, or efficiency. And then that gets spread out through the entire community. So thank you, Kiwi Miner, Kiwi Crypto Miner, for providing this. So the command. You can see it here on Red Panda Mining screen. Um, but you have to adapt it for your needs. And of course, again, LOL Miner won't do it, but Team Red Miner will. So here I am on the Caspa algorithm with Team Red Miner. You can see my total power draw down here is 637 watts. But before that, it was a lot more. So let's compare the before and after. So here on the left-hand side, you can see the power draw. The 6600 XT was sitting around 30 to 36 to 40 watts, and it was getting around two, uh, 255 mega hash. And then if we add this, it's still getting, it's actually getting two extra mega hash, but it dropped down um, to, you know, almost 20 watts. Almost 20 watts for all of these GPUs is what I'm seeing here. 106 to 86, 109 to 87, um, uh, you know, like 63 on the 6700 XT to 46. And even this 5700 XT from Power Color dropped down from 103 down to 77 watts and it's still around the same hash rate so this does apply two to five thousand series gpus probably the 5600 xt as well but it does not apply to the 590. it's only getting about 203 mega hash but you can see the power draw is basically the same so don't expect this to work on your 480s 580s whatever it might be but for the 5000 series and 6000 series you can make your your rig much more efficient now, obviously, this was not applicable to NVIDIA GPUs, but for an AMD rig that's mixed with both 6000 and 5000 series GPUs, you can wind up saving a lot of power draw. What I actually saw was a power draw drop of around 200 watts at the wall. I have a power meter, which I'm going to display now, and we can see that it was almost at 4800 watts total with all three systems running. But when I applied this, uh, this particular command, it dropped down almost 200 watts. So that's a decent efficiency drop. And obviously I'm still tuning. I've been playing around with some of the clocks here. You can get the 5700 XT down, but for some reason the ASRock card won't let me drop the memory below 850. Uh, this gigabyte card, which is giving me nothing but problems, won't let me drop the VDD down or the core voltage down any further. And I'm still testing and tuning and feeling out each GPU uh, individually. Now remember, I always said this in the past, that each GPU um, is going to behave a little bit differently. Now, while you might see my clocks and be like, Vega, you can get that down lower, I might not be able to apply it because there's a number of variables like th the thermals, the environmental conditions that might have an effect and obviously Silicon Lottery. But just know if you get some numbers and you want to apply it to your GPUs, you might be able to get better hash or better efficiency uh, compared to somebody else or vice versa where you're getting uh, less efficiency and you're not able to hit the hash rate they provide. Now to wrap up things, I want to show you the code. This code needs to be applied if your system restarts. But the beautiful thing is, if you do apply this code, um, you can always run it again after the system restarts. When you go to run command, you can see your history here. And we can scroll through it. And if you just click this again, it would automatically or it would instantly apply. It does take a few seconds to kick in. But the code is as such on screen. And all you simply need to do is 
adapt the number per GPU. So my first GPU is 0, 03, my second GPU is 0, 06, my third GPU is 0, D, my fourth GPU is 12, so on and so on. 16, 1A. You just need to make the numbers here on the left match the numbers here. And unfortunately, when Red Panda Mining and even Kiwi tried to add this particular command into their YouTube description, it breaks or causes issues. So we're going to wind up swapping out the equal sign for an X. And I'm going to copy and paste that into the description. And then all you need to do is go through and everywhere you see the equal symbol, replace the X with a, oh, excuse me, a greater than sign. I don't know why I said equal sign. But just make sure you do that. You're going to copy this after you update your, your you know, PCIe IDs to match your GPUs. And then come up here to the run command and you're going to run it. You're going to place it right here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Place it right here and hit run. It's going to show up dot, dot, dot for a few seconds. And then it's going to sit up there. If it shows like this, it applied. But if it shows up in red text, it didn't apply and there might be an error. Reach out to your fellow colleagues and community crypto members and maybe we can help you out. But super efficient mining caspa on amd gpus using team red miner and this command very excited to see this as caspa continues to grow in the gpu farm and now just remember caspa's intention has always been to grow with the ecosystem from g from cpu to gpu to fpgas and then to asic so this isn't an ethereum replacement they always plan to grow beyond gpu mining don't be upset with the caspa team just be aware that that was the plan from the jump. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. Um, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.